48 new recruits joined the Charlotte-Mecklenburg Police Training Academy last Monday. It'll be their second homes for the next 25 weeks as they learn the tools of the trade from some of the best instructors in the country. Right now, they're just recruits, but over the next six months, they'll work to become sworn officers of the Charlotte-Mecklenburg Police Department. All right, listen up. You call out your last name. When I call out your name, you're going to exit this doorway, line up in the hallway. Amaya. Aro. Bayer. Bobek. Bon Hotel. Before Recruit Class 193 gets started with their training, the staff at the academy has to set a few ground rules. But first, they'll make a few important introductions. Happy to be here. Y'all just pick this up. <laughs> Y'all happy to be here? Smile. Yes, I hope you're happy to be here. You look good. You got your dress really well. I'm Sheree E. Pierce. I'll get you chief of the administrative services group. And I always find this a great opportunity to come in and greet our new classes. What brought you here? I've seen the good and bad that police officers can bring to a community, mm -hmm. and I want to be a good part of it. Gotcha. Yes, ma'am. Oh, um, well, despite what we see on the news, I think that it's good that you're here. Mm -hmm. Better for us to come in and be able to change that and also to build on it. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? I've had many role models, role models and mentors be police officers, and I've seen the good they've done. And it'd be a positive influence on somebody. Right now you why? You need a pocket every day. So that when you come into training in these sessions and it's hard and it's cold or it's hot or you're tired or these they keep giving you these exams, just reach in your pocket and look at it. Why am I here? Why did I go through this? What's at the end? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Andrea Mullins. I'm going to be the lead recruit trainer for Recruit Class 193. Glad you guys are here. Glad everybody made it this morning on time. I'd like to start by saying any challenge that you face in life starts with the first step, right? So today is the first step of this challenge. This challenge is going to be 25 weeks long. We're going to push you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I'm going to find your limits. I'm going to go a little bit past that. But I promise you, at the end of these 25 weeks, it's all going to be worth it. Now that the introductions have been made, the recruits are anxious for what's next. They'll all have one goal in mind, the case full of badges with their names that hangs at the back of their classroom. That's the goal. This class we have 48, so it's one of the larger classes we've had in quite some time. And yeah, it's great to have this many people in the class that want to pursue this profession and chose CMPD. Uh, so it, it, it re-energizes us. Uh, we like to see all those folks out there uh, pushing themselves and getting ready and trying to, trying to get to the ultimate goal, which is graduation in April. Tuesday was the first physical element the recruits endured at the academy when they had their Cooper of Fitness assessment. This helps set a baseline for the recruits to determine where they stand coming into the academy and a few ways they can improve over the next 25 weeks. We'll take the best of three, two foot takeoff, jump, just tap the outside, and hit it hard. Or if you want to rock one foot back, you just got to leave the front foot plant in general. All right, watch your elbow on this, you got right here. Two sixty five, report that to the person with the clipboard inside. Yes, Davis, I need you to push, yeah? Yes, sir. One, two, three. Push it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Don't ever lie to us again. 305, sir. 305. 305, get out of here. Nope. Alright. Bond just wants me to demo one. Let him do it. Demo the next, let him do it. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. You're gonna be one of you guys is gonna be the exerciser, one of you guys is gonna be the counter, right? 
So you tell the person whenever they get done with the exercise what their total number of repetitions completed are. Uh, Officer Blue's going to talk you through the movements here. Uh, hold the foot of the person doing the sit-ups. Either uh, you can place your hands on their feet if they prefer. You can place your knees on their toes and your hands on their ankle. Make sure that they're comfortable, okay? We're not mandating you do it a certain way. Make sure the person doing the sit-ups are comfortable. In the sit-up position, when you're doing your sit-ups, you see his shoulder blades are touching the ground when he starts. We start position. His hands are on his shoulders. When he comes up, we need the knees. Sorry, we need the elbows to go to the knees. Hey, right here. Yep. Elbows on the knees. Yep, there you go. There it is. Hands on your shoulders, ma'am. Five, four, three, two, time. Yeah, 43. Underneath their chin, going to come down. They have to touch the fist with their chin. At the top, full extension with the elbows. Okay. Notice his body's in plank position. Begin. Dude, 42, sir. Straight. 70, sir. Phil. 29, sir. Sylvester. 23, sir. Strauss. 13, sir. Uh, they, did, they did pretty well. A, uh, uh, typical expectations for first day PT. Uh, they're kind of learning uh, exactly what's, what's expected of them. Um, we're going to have some folks that, that are really good at the top and some that you know, need to put some work in to kind of get to the ultimate goal. So when we give you the count of go, it's a mile and a half individual effort run. So from this cone right here in the front, if you guys in the back can see there's a cone right here. That's the start line. There's a cone, you can't see it, it's around this curb, but there's uh, additional officers over there. You'll circle that cone and back three times. It's gonna be three laps to complete your mile and a half. As you come around, there's a lot of you so just tell me what lap you're on, right? So just call it out, I'll be here, I'll give you the split time, but just say first lap, second lap, whatever, so I'm tracking how many you've got to go. Three, two, one, go. Fine casting. 347, 350, 352, 354, 722. 725, 727, 729, 732, 732, 12.31, 12.34, Oh, oh. 43, 44, 48, boys. Oh, come on. Don't stop. 45. All the way through, all the way through. That's pretty good. Work. What's your time? 49, sir. Forward, march, left. Left, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left. As a class, I'm proud of them. They're still learning the rules and regulations a little bit uh, and that we mean what we say uh, as far as when we tell them to be on time, to prepare ahead of time. So they're kind of figuring all that out and that's to be expected on, on uh, day two. So as each day progresses throughout the week, uh, we kind of tighten it down a little bit more, expect them to kind of know what's going on, what our expectations are, and uh, then by Friday, we're rolling hot. Tuesday's Cooper Fitness Assessment set the stage for Friday's first physical testing session for the class. Time for the real thing. Nice and easy, just high knees. 
Nice and easy, Todd, man. Just so I can kill my concrete. Let's go! Let's go! Nice and warm up. Nice warm up. Relax. Stay loose. Push-ups you want me to do. Come on. Keep that chin up, Lipper. Yes, sir. Twelve, we got a whole lot to go, sir. Friday's PT session tested everyone. The recruit trainers are trying to set the precedent of the hard work they expect, while the recruits are trying their best not to come up short. I'm good, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, stand tall. <clears throat> come on, let's go. Big, big, big leg. Let's go. Nobody's moving on this right side. This is the weak side of the, of the glass. Come on. Everybody on the left side is doing a workout, except this side. Let's go, let's go. with, yeah? Yes, yes sir. sir! Six months, you gotta be together. We gotta be able to push each other to be great. Yes, we push and we strive for excellence. Our instructors will give you everything we got. We want that in return, yeah? Yes, sir! We strive for excellence in everything we do. Know each other. Who's your neighbor? Who's your neighbor? Know your neighbor. Number with number with number. These are your teammates. Get to know them. Six. Thirty seconds. We got it. Yes, sir. Get your hips up. Hips up. Should be flat like a board. Flat like a board. After a good sweat in the morning, the recruits get themselves together for a day full of learning. Today's lesson is a rest, search, and seizure. Right now, they're just laying the foundation for the job, brick by brick. All right, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How is PT? Good, ma'am. Pretty good? Yes, ma'am. Feel prepared or getting there? Okay. Well, let me say this. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Because I'm retired. <laughs> I was a Division One athlete, but I'm retired, so if I can do it, y'all can do it. Y'all will be fine. You'll make it. If a felony is committed in our jurisdiction, we would certainly investigate that, but we also have authority to arrest someone statewide for a felony. So if someone commits a felony here, 
we might go, like I said, to Dare County to arrest them. If that's where they are at the time, arrest warrants are sought if that's where we need to go. Now, the semantics of that, the technical side, the safety side, you'll learn that from the sworn staff at the academy because we generally won't do it by ourselves. We'll let someone know we're coming into their jurisdiction. But just for your knowledge purposes, we can arrest statewide on felonies. So I think they're still figuring it out, right? Uh, the, the academy is a phase where some folks think they know what policing is all about. Some folks do know what policing is all about. And along the way, they're trying to figure it out. Is this what I signed up for? And, and we, we hope that it is. We hope they've done their research and they know that what they're getting into, um, you know, there's a physical component. Uh, there's a mental com component. There's a lot of stress and they have to kind of juggle all, all of that to kind of be successful. So uh, at this point in the academy, I'm proud of where they are. Uh, I think they're progressing right along where they should be. And by the end of the week, we'll see, we'll see where we are as a class. Join us for this series as we go behind the scenes to follow Recruit Class 193 and their journey to the badge.